When building React applications, sometimes you want to avoid unnecessary re-renders because these kind of renders can affect the performance of your applications. And in this video, I'll be showing you a simple tip on how to optimize your component. So let's say we have this simple example here. I have my app component and I have the parent component. I have my console log rendered parent. I'm keeping state for count. I have a button such that when you click the button, it increases count by one. I have this child component and then here I have this child component and our our component is working just fine you can see the count increasing now what is the potential problem here let's go to the console when i refresh my application you see we have rendered parents this is coming from this console log here and then we have rendered child and this is coming from the child because this child is a child of the parent now the potential problem here is that when you update the state in this parent component everything here is going to be reevaluated and re-rendered so if i click on plus you see we have rendered parents and we have rendered child again if i click on this and i click on this the child component gets re-rendered all the time as the parent gets re-rendered but when you come here you can see that our child component is not changing it's not like our child component had a prop that changes when the component state changes the child component stays the same but then it keeps getting re-rendered and a simple application like this it might not be a problem if the child component gets re-rendered but as your application continues to grow and your component gets bigger you might want to avoid re-rendering this child component all the time because it doesn't need to get re-rendered it stays the same in every render now one solution you might think of is to use use memo so here we are now using use memo on the child component passing an empty dependency. So we know that in every render, this component is not going to be re-rendered, it is memoized. So here we can now use the child variable. Now if I come back here and refresh, we have a rendered parent, we rendered child the first time. When you click on plus, now we only have rendered parents. We don't have rendered child because the child component has been memoized. Now using use memo here might seem like the best solution, but sometimes use memo can come with its own complexity. And if you are using use memo a lot in your application, that can affect memory. And again, that can affect the performance of your application. But you can actually optimize your component in a much more simpler way without use memo or any React hooks. And that is based on how you compose your component. So let's do away with this use memo. What we can do here is that we can receive a children prop on this parent. And then here, we render children. And now in this app component, for this parent component, we can pass the child component here. So we're passing this child component as children to this parent component. Now let's see if this changes anything. We have rendered parents, we have rendered child. When we click on plus, we only have rendered parents. The parent component is rendered, but the child component is not rendered. And if we keep clicking the plus, you see only the parent component is rendered. You see, we're not using any hook here. All we have done is that we have taken this child component to the app component and then we are feeding it to this parent component as children. You might be thinking, well, since it is part of the parent here, why isn't this re-rendered? Well, here is a simple way to understand this optimization. When you update states in your component, React would re-render that component. But during that re-rendering, React would only re-evaluate the things that are related to that component or the things that are tied to that component. In this case, console log rendered parent is tied to that component. Every of these things here are tied to that component. But one thing that isn't tied to this component is the props. So if you come to this parent component and you have prop one, prop two, in this parent component, React is not going to reevaluate these props because these props are coming from the upper component. In this case, these props are coming from the app component. Now, part of the props that is coming from this app component is children, children which we feed into the parent component. So because children is coming as a prop from the app component, React would not need to reevaluate children even when the state changes. Now you could choose to use props children as we did here, or you can choose to receive a prop like child prop. And then we take this child from here. Let me remove these props. And then we have child prop. And then we pass this component here. And then for the child prop, we can now put that in place of children. If we come back here again and we refresh, if you click on plus, you see only the parent component is rendered. The child component isn't rendered. So considering the fact that 
props are not re-evaluated in this component when it gets updated then you can feed inputs from the upper component which in this case is app and this simple way you have optimized your application by moving this child component to the top where it doesn't need to be re-rendered the only thing in this case that can cause this child component to be re-rendered is if in your app component you were keeping track of some state and you updated that state now in that case everything here is going to be re-rendered and because this child component is related to this app component that is going to be re-rendered doing this simple optimization technique and not always having to rely on use memo can greatly improve the performance of your application because just like i said earlier you'll be avoiding some unnecessary re-renders i have more react simplified videos you'd find some of them on the screen you can check them out to learn more react tips and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like share with others and subscribe for more simplified react videos like this.